Laverne and Shirley, the hit TV series of the 1970s, was known for breaking rules and sharing facts. Despite steep competition, it managed to dominate the era and pave the way for more opportunities in television. However, the show concluded in 1983 with some big players missing, leaving fans to wonder about the fate of the dynamic duo. One half of the formula, Cindy Williams, left the show prematurely, leading many to question the circumstances surrounding her departure. The show's catchphrase, Schlemiel, Schlemazel, Hasidim, remains a mystery to this day, with fans still trying to decipher its origin. But what about the legal battles that plagued the show? One cast member even took legal action against it. Despite these challenges, Laverne and Shirley remains a beloved classic, leaving a lasting impact on television history. Join us as we delve into the secrets of this classic TV series, exploring everything from its unsavory litigation to its unforgettable catchphrase. Stay tuned for more exciting insights into television history, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Sir, where is the old Laverne and Shirley originated from humble beginnings as a spin-off of the show Happy Days. Initially, the character Laverne DeFazio was introduced in a pilot episode of Happy Days. But the show's creators had bigger plans for her. They decided to create a new show centered around Laverne and her best friend Shirley, leading to the successful sitcom about two bottle cappers. The show featured real-life siblings Penny and Gary Marshall, with the latter serving as the executive producer and heavily influencing the sitcom's creation and direction. Penny played the role of Laverne, while her brother Gary was behind the scenes, ensuring the show's success. Cindy Williams, who played Shirley, almost declined the role to pursue film. However, she ultimately decided to join the cast, and her chemistry with Penny Marshall was undeniable. Together, they formed a dynamic duo that captured the hearts of audiences worldwide. This classic TV series became a cultural phenomenon with its catchy theme song and iconic catchphrases. The show's success can be attributed to the talented cast and the creative minds behind the scenes who brought this hilarious and heartwarming story to life. Don't you feel like a big tough tiger? Oh, big tough tiger? Do I feel like a big tough tiger? The popular TV series Laverne and Shirley, which first aired in 1976, features an iconic catchphrase that has left a lasting impression on its audience. This memorable phrase, Schlemiel and Schlamazel, was actually inspired by star Penny Marshall's own experiences growing up. She and her sister would chant these Yiddish words during their walks to school, a ritual that was eventually integrated into the show by Penny's brother, producer Gary Marshall. These terms, roughly translating to someone clumsy or unlucky, became a signature part of the opening credits sequence for Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> Let's have a pod. As Lee Vern and Shirley spun off from Happy Days, changes took place to appeal to a wider audience. Initially, the show contained sexual humor and more mature content, but efforts were made to make it suitable for young viewers. Characters underwent transformations, including Laverne and Shirley themselves, who were reimagined as less experienced and more innocent. The most notable alteration involved the characters Lenny and Squiggy, performed by David Lander and Michael McKean, respectively. Their original humor was deemed unsuitable due to its racy nature, prompting adjustments in how they were depicted on screen. This move aimed to align their roles better with the overall tone of the sitcom. Despite these modifications, Lenny and Squiggy remained fan favorites throughout the show's run, thanks to their unique comedic styles. These strategic shifts allowed Laverne and Shirley to become one of the most beloved television classics, appealing to various age groups while maintaining its distinct charm and humor. In the mid-1970s, three popular TV shows shared production space, The Odd Couple, Happy Days, and its spin-off, Laverne and Shirley. This proximity sometimes led to unintended eavesdropping on other sets, causing minor dramas that spilled over into the lives of the actors. Laverne and Shirley featured Penny Marshall as Laverne DeFazio and Cindy Williams as Shirley Feeney, two blue-collar workers navigating life and love in Milwaukee during the late 50s and early 60s. As their popularity grew, so did reports of escalating tensions between the two leads due to increased fame and success. Marshall and Williams found themselves at odds over issues like billing and screen time, resulting in strained relationships both on and off camera. 
their egos allegedly clashed, casting a slight shadow on what was otherwise considered a fun and entertaining sitcom. Despite these challenges, the duo continued working together throughout the show's eight-season run. This classic underdog story captured audiences with its humor and relatable themes while simultaneously dealing with internal struggles among its beloved main characters. Gaping hole in the middle of your mouth. <laughs> in 1976, Cindy Williams, one of the leading stars of the popular TV series Laverne and Shirley, made the decision to depart from the show due to her pregnancy. At the time, the demanding production schedule and unrealistic expectations placed upon her became overwhelming. This situation even led to legal action against the producers, causing tension between Williams and her co-star Penny Marshall. As a result of Williams' departure, the show underwent significant changes, faced with declining ratings and the challenge of continuing without one of its main characters, Laverne, and Shirley shifted time slots in an attempt to regain viewership. However, despite these efforts, the show ultimately concluded without a successful spin-off taking its place. Despite the difficulties surrounding its conclusion, Laverne and Shirley remains a beloved classic among television audiences. Over time, Williams and Marshall were able to mend their relationship and look back on their time together with fondness. To this day, viewers continue to appreciate the comedic chemistry shared by the two lead actresses, making it a memorable staple of American television. Gimme, 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 gimme what I cry for. You know you got the brand of kisses that I did. Laverne and Shirley, the popular 1970s TV series, remains celebrated for its positive portrayal of female friendship. At its core, the show highlights the journey of two women, Laverne DeFazio and Shirley Feeney, who navigate the ups and downs of life together. With humor and resilience, they confront various challenges while maintaining their unbreakable bond. Set in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the story revolves around these two roommates working in a brewery during the day and pursuing dreams of stardom at night. Their camaraderie provides warmth and laughter, making it easy for viewers to connect with them. One notable aspect of Laverne and Shirley is how it explores themes still relevant today, self-reliance, ambition, love, and friendship. By focusing on relatable issues faced by ordinary people, especially women, the show underscores the importance of having someone trustworthy by one side. Over time, Laverne and Shirley has left an indelible mark on television history due to its strong lead characters and engaging narratives. Its influence extends beyond its original air date, inspiring future productions centered on empowered female friendships. Even now, many continue to draw inspiration from this classic series. Through its memorable episodes, Laverne and Shirley demonstrates that, regardless of era or circumstance, certain truths remain constant like the value of true friends who support each other through thick and thin. Point it. All pointed at me. It's not loaded. Sure, that's what everybody says. Then when the gun goes out, they... Laverne and Shirley, the hit TV series that aired from 1976 to 1983, was a cultural phenomenon during its time. The show, which starred Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams as two roommates working in a Milwaukee brewery, quickly became one of the most popular shows on television. Critics praised the chemistry between Marshall and Williams, and viewers were drawn to the show's humor and relatable characters. The success of Laverne and Shirley led to a number of spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations. In 1982, a short-lived animated series titled Laverne and Shirley and the Army debuted, featuring the voices of Marshall and Williams. The show followed the duo's adventures in the Army and featured many of the same comedic elements as the original series. Additionally, the show spawned a line of merchandise, including dolls, board games, and lunchboxes. These items allowed fans to engage with the show and its characters in new ways, further solidifying its place in pop culture. Laverne and Shirley also had a significant impact on fashion trends. Shirley's iconic poofy sleeve blouse, for example, inspired a wave of similar styles in women's clothing. Even today, the show's influence can still be seen in fashion and pop culture. In recent years, there has been renewed interest in Laverne and Shirley, with streaming services like Hulu making the entire series available to a new generation of viewers. This has introduced the show to a whole new audience who have fallen in love with the antics of Laverne, Shirley, and their friends. Overall, the legacy of Laverne and Shirley lives on through its impact on popular culture, its numerous spin-offs and adaptations, and its continued relevance today. <laughs> The 
creation of the beloved 1970s TV show Laverne, and surely began with a search for the perfect duo to bring these iconic characters to life. Producers Gary Marshall and Ed Sharlak had a clear vision for the series, two strong, independent women navigating life together in Milwaukee during the 1950s. But finding the right actors would prove to be quite a challenge. For the role of Laverne DeFazio, they needed someone who could portray a tough yet lovable brewery worker. After reviewing numerous auditions, Penny Marshall caught their attention. With her unique blend of strength and vulnerability, she won over the producers and secured the part. Interestingly enough, Penny's brother Gary didn't initially think she was right for the role, but after seeing her performance, he changed his mind. Shirley Feeney, on the other hand, required an actress who could exude sweetness and innocence while still holding her own alongside Laverne. Q. Cindy Williams, whose prior acting experience included roles in both film and television, her natural comedic timing and warm presence convinced the creators that she was indeed the ideal candidate for the part. But before officially signing on to the project, Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams had to undergo a crucial test, performing scenes together to ensure their chemistry was undeniable, and so it was, as they laughed, bantered, and played off one another effortlessly. This magical connection translated beautifully onto screen and became the backbone of the entire series. Other notable cast members joined them along the way, including Michael McKean and David Lander as Lenny and Squiggy, respectively, bringing even more humor and camaraderie to the mix. Eddie Mecca also signed on as Carmine Ragusa, better known as the Big Ragu, capturing hearts with his charm and singing abilities. Thus, through countless hours spent scouring auditions, conducting chemistry readings, and carefully considering every aspect of their potential choices, the brilliant minds behind Laverne and Shirley successfully assembled a talented ensemble that talented ensemble continues to resonate with audiences today. Well, here's your silly dollar stumper. How long does it take for a moth egg? Moreover, the director of Laverne and Shirley aimed to capture the essence of friendship and working class life in a charming and humorous way. They drew inspiration from the lively 1950s setting, wanting to create a nostalgic atmosphere that resonated with audiences. Their style focused on character-driven stories, allowing the unique personalities of Laverne and Shirley to shine through. As the director collaborated closely with the cast, they encouraged improvisation, allowing actresses Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams to infuse their own experiences and quirks into their characters. This approach created a natural chemistry that felt genuine and relatable. The director also worked with the writers to develop storylines that highlighted everyday challenges, making the humor feel organic rather than forced. In terms of visual storytelling, they embraced bright colors and lively settings, reflecting the upbeat tone of the series. The use of close-ups during comedic moments emphasized the characters' reactions, drawing viewers into their world. This combination of collaboration and creativity played a significant role in bringing the stories of Laverne and Shirley to life, creating memorable moments that audiences still appreciate. See an army hygiene film. Well, you know her. She loves movies. She sees... Let's step onto the bustling set of Laverne and Shirley, the popular 1976 TV series. The show's designers faced an exciting challenge, creating two distinct living spaces for the main characters, reflecting their contrasting personalities. Laverne's apartment was designed with a more masculine touch, featuring darker colors and heavier furniture. In contrast, Shirley's space boasted lighter hues and delicate decor, symbolizing her softer character. The series also utilized various exterior shots around Los Angeles, California, to create its Milwaukee setting. However, most scenes were filmed on sound stages, where creators could control lighting and acoustics better. This allowed them to achieve consistent visuals throughout each episode. One notable location was the iconic Schatz Brewery, which served as both a workplace and social hub for our leading ladies. While it appeared sprawling and lively, it too was confined within studio walls. Creative set designs transformed small areas into convincing backdrops for hijinks and romance. However, producing a multi-camera sitcom isn't all fun in games. Logistical hurdles abounded. For instance, coordinating schedules among large casts and crews demanded meticulous planning. Moreover, integrating live audiences added complexity since performances had to pause frequently for laughter. Despite these obstacles, though, the team delivered engaging episodes week after week. Interestingly enough, Laverne and Shirley pioneered some technological advancements. 
They use video assist monitors, allowing directors and actors to review footage immediately after shooting. Although commonplace today, this innovation significantly sped up post-production workflows four decades ago. As we delve deeper into television history, let's remember that every frame is the result of countless decisions, endless creativity, and tireless dedication. <laughs> In the mid-1970s, Laverne and Shirley brought laughter into American homes through its light-hearted storyline and memorable musical elements. The show's catchy theme song became an instant hit, but the contribution of background music to enhance the narrative and emotional depth was equally significant. Composed by Charles Fox, known for his work on Killing Me Softly, the instrumental cues subtly wove their way throughout each episode. According to Fox, he aimed to create tunes that reflected both the comedic timing and the tender moments between the two lead characters, Laverne DeFazio and Shirley Feeney. The music often accentuated physical comedy scenes, amplifying audience reactions. For instance, when our heroines found themselves in slapstick situations like clumsy antics during milk delivery jobs, lively tempos underscored these humorous instances. However, it wasn't all about laughs. When addressing serious topics, slower, more poignant melodies set a reflective mood. These softer pieces served as counterpoints to the otherwise upbeat tempo of the series, emphasizing dramatic shifts in plot lines while keeping viewers engaged. Collaborating closely with director David Davis, Fox ensured every note aligned perfectly with visual storytelling. They believed that seamless integration of audio and video would strengthen viewer engagement and elevate overall enjoyment. This approach proved successful, making Laverne and Shirley one of TV's most beloved shows. Interestingly, several guest stars contributed vocally to episodic performances, further enriching the viewing experience. Musicians appearing on the show included Elton John, Debbie Reynolds, and even Kermit the Frog. Each appearance added another layer of delightful nostalgia for audiences young and old alike. To sum up, behind the hilarity and camaraderie depicted in Laverne and Shirley, careful thought went into crafting just the right notes to accompany each scene. By combining skillfully composed scores and playful cameos, this classic sitcom truly stands out as a testament to the power of harmonious collaboration in television production. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> One of the most iconic scenes in Laverne and Shirley comes from the episode titled Dinner for Seven. In this scene, Laverne and Shirley host a dinner party with their friends and co-workers from the brewery. However, Things quickly spiral out of control when they realize they've accidentally ordered seven times more food than necessary. The director, Gary Marshall, uses wide shots to capture the chaos unfolding in the small apartment, highlighting the comedic timing of the cast as they try to navigate through the mountains of food. Close-ups of exaggerated facial expressions add to the humor, allowing the audience to fully appreciate each character's unique reaction. Penny Marshall recalls the shooting of this scene fondly, stating, it was just mayhem, people slipping on mashed potatoes, food flying everywhere. But it worked because we all had so much fun doing it. This sense of camaraderie shines through in every frame, making the scene even more enjoyable for viewers. As the dinner progresses, the tension between Lenny and Squiggy reaches new heights, culminating in one of the show's most memorable lines, Hello, I'm Squiggy, delivered with perfect comedic delivery by David Lander. This scene has become iconic due to its over-the-top silliness, and impeccable comedic performances. Its impact can still be felt today, inspiring modern sitcoms to embrace chaotic group dynamics and physical comedy. Cindy Williams reflects on the legacy of Laverne and Shirley, saying, we didn't know if anyone would like our little show, but here we are almost 50 years later, and people still enjoy watching us mess up dinner parties. Honey, tell me, uh, what does it feel like? Well, for the first time I can really the popular 1970s TV show Laverne and Shirley had a significant cultural and social impact. Airing from 1976 to 1983, it quickly became one of the most watched shows in America. Set in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, during the late 50s and early 60s, it followed two roommates, Laverne DeFazio and Shirley Feeney, who worked together in a brewery while striving for success in their personal lives. Audiences connected with these strong, independent female leads, rare for the time period, these blue-collar workers challenged traditional gender roles, inspiring many women viewers to seek careers beyond hallmaking. Moreover, the friendship between Laverne 
and surely demonstrated solidarity among women, teaching valuable lessons about loyalty and trust. The show also broke new ground by incorporating humor into everyday life experiences, making relatable situations laughable. This lighthearted approach attracted diverse viewership, further broadening its influence on pop culture. As a result, catchphrases like Schlemiel, Schlemazel, Hasenpfeffer Incorporated entered common vernacular and remain memorable today. Additionally, Laverne and Shirley tackled various societal issues. For instance, they explored topics related to mental health through Shirley's brother, revealing his struggles with bipolar disorder. By addressing such matters openly, the series helped destigmatize mental illness and spark conversations around understanding and support. Moreover, the show provided representation for Italian Americans, often overlooked in media at the time. With Penny Marshall playing Laverne, whose surname reflected her character's heritage, the program offered authenticity missing from other contemporary portrayals. Thus, Laverne and Shirley played a crucial role in promoting diversity both on screen and off. Undeniably, Laverne and Shirley left an indelible mark on television history. Its unique blend of comedy, empowerment, and realistic storytelling captivated millions of viewers and paved the way for future sitcoms featuring complex female protagonists. Even now, nearly four decades since its finale, its legacy continues to inspire and entertain fans old and new. Hey, Weezy, you think I like you because you're a tough guy and you protect me? What's well, important? Not to me, it's not. Huh? No. Laverne and Shirley, a popular television sitcom that first aired in 1976, received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. The show followed the lives of two roommates, Laverne DeFazio and Shirley Feeney, played by Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams respectively, as they navigated their way through work and relationships in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The show was praised for its humor, relatability, and strong lead performances. In his review for the New York Times, John J. O'Connor wrote, Laverne and Shirley have become instant sensations on Tuesday night's Miss Marshall, and Miss Williams handle their roles with expert timing. The show quickly became one of the highest rated programs on television during its run, consistently ranking in the top 10 shows of the year according to Nielsen ratings. Audiences connected with the characters and found them to be likable and funny. According to a viewer survey conducted by TV Guide, Laverne and Shirley were voted among the most popular female characters on television. Additionally, the show's theme song, Making Our Dreams Come True, became a hit single and remains memorable to this day. Laverne and Shirley also received several award nominations throughout its run. Both Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams earned Golden Globe nominations for Best Actress in a Television Series, Musical or Comedy in 1978 and 1979 respectively. The show itself was nominated for four Primetime Emmy Awards, including Outstanding Comedy Series in 1979. While it did not win any major awards, these nominations highlighted the impact and success of the show. These accolades signified the popularity and influence of Laverne and Shirley during its time. They also solidified the careers of Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams as successful actresses in Hollywood. The show left a lasting legacy, paving the way for future female-led comedies and inspiring generations of viewers. <laughs> During the filming of Laverne and Shirley, Penny Marshall, who played Laverne DeFazio, was known for her love of baseball. She would often bring a baseball glove to set and catch flies between takes. Cindy Williams, Shirley Feeney actress, shared a close bond with Marshall off-screen, which translated into their on-screen chemistry. Michael McKean and David Lander, who portrayed Lenny and Squiggy, were real-life friends before joining the show. Their comedic timing and rapport led to their characters becoming fan favorites. In one episode, they performed Hello, Hello, which became a surprise hit single. The iconic opening sequence, featuring the girls carrying beer cases down a street, was filmed on Hollywood Boulevard. To capture the perfect shot, they used a special camera rig called a camera car. Despite several attempts, it took them two days to get the scene just right. During the first season, the cast and crew faced challenges adapting to the fast pace of a multi-camera sitcom setup. As a result, many scenes had to be reshot multiple times, leading to long hours on set. However, the team remained dedicated and supportive, fostering a positive work environment. One notable guest star was Betty Garrett, who played landlady Edna Babish. Her character added another layer of humor to the show, 
and she quickly formed friendships with her younger co-stars. Garrett brought years of experience to the role, having started her career in vaudeville, and later appearing in classic films like On the Town, despite its light-hearted nature, Laverne and Shirley addressed serious social issues. For instance, in one episode titled Just One More Time, Laverne struggles with alcoholism, highlighting the consequences of addiction. This storyline reflected Marshall's own battle with alcohol, giving depth to her performance. Overall, Laverne and Shirley provided viewers with laughter, while also delivering meaningful messages through relatable characters. Its lasting impact can still be seen today inspiring new generations of performers and writers alike. Uh, Cheryl and I have a little problem. It's about our room. Yes? Well, part of it's missing. <laughs> Laverne and Shirley, the beloved 1976 TV series, holds a special place in television history. As a spin-off of Happy Days, it featured two strong female leads, Laverne DeFazio, played by Penny Marshall, and Shirley Feeney, portrayed by Cindy Williams. And Shirley Feeney, portrayed by Cindy Williams, this show brought a fresh perspective to sitcoms of the era, focusing on friendship and the pursuit of dreams in a way that resonated with audiences. Laverne and Shirley was one of the first successful shows to center around blue-collar women trying to find their way in life. Set in Milwaukee during the 1950s and 1960s, the story followed the pair's adventures while working at a brewery and navigating relationships. Its focus on working-class females broke new ground in television, and paved the way for future shows like Roseanne and The Connors. The series also had a significant cultural impact through its memorable catchphrases and iconic theme song. Lines like Schlemiel, Schlemazel, Hasten Pfeffer Incorporated became part of popular culture and could often be heard echoed among children and teens throughout the late 70s and early 80s. Additionally, the upbeat theme song, composed by Charles Fox and Norman Gimbel, remains instantly recognizable even today. Moreover, Laverne and Shirley served as a stepping stone for several accomplished actors and actresses who made appearances throughout the show's run. Among these were Michael McKean, David Lander, Ed Begley Jr., and Carrie Fisher. These talented individuals found greater success in later projects, but honed their craft during their time on Laverne and Shirley. Penny Marshall herself would go on to become a prominent director after her role as Laverne DeFazio came to an end. Her directorial debut, Jumpin' Jack Flash, arrived in 1986, and she continued to make strides behind the camera in films like Big, Awakenings, and A League of Their Own. Without question, her experience on Laverne and Shirley contributed significantly to launching her career in Hollywood. Undeniably, the lasting legacy and influence of Laverne and Shirley remain relevant today. Not only did it entertain millions of viewers each week, but it also introduced unique characters, situations, and themes into American pop culture. Furthermore, it opened doors for countless performers, both in front of and behind the cameras, who continue to captivate us with their work. <laughs> Did you know that Laverne and Shirley, the beloved 1976 TV series, still holds a special place in many hearts? We'd love to hear about your personal connections to this show. How did it affect you back then? Or what memories do you have that bring a smile to your face today? Perhaps you laughed along with Laverne and Shirley during their hilarious antics at work, or admired their strong friendship while navigating life's challenges together. Or maybe you found inspiration in their determination to chase after their dreams despite setbacks. Whatever your experience might be, we want to hear all about it. Your stories can help us appreciate even more how influential this iconic series has been over the years, and who knows, they may inspire others too. So go ahead, reminisce with us by sharing your favorite moments or thoughts inspired by Laverne and Shirley. You can comment, like, and share your reflections here, or better yet, join our community and hit that subscription button so we can continue exploring classic gems like these together. Can't wait to read your heartfelt recollections. Yes. Over here. Oh, see, she even kisses like grandma.